Okay, if everything is ready, we can run the porridge. What happens? This also doesn't take too long, but it requires some computations. The problem is that you cannot estimate just the correlation of two images because uh, it is the, the, the intensity of uh, different tissue types is not at all proportional in uh, two modalities, functional and structural. That's why uh, the software is using so-called normalized mutual information. This is the result. Two images look pretty aligned. But this plot is also useful. This is the initial plot of mutual information and this is the resulting plot. The user-friendly idea of how to understand it, the sharper are the angles of this scatter plot, the better. Apparently this one is sharper than this one. That means the co-registration of two images is indeed improved. That's all what you need to know at the moment and uh, hopefully you get the same outcome or about the same outcome. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, And the next step is segmentation. This is, as I told you, uh, probably the most complex, the most critical step of the pre-processing, and it is going to take quite long. I don't know precisely, but uh, in my computer it, uh, it took uh, 15 minutes. Uh, 15, not 15. You will have to press the segment button and you select just the structural image. The segmentation is the separation of white matter, gray matter, CSF, cerebrospinal fluid and other tissue classes in the structural image, the, the better is the quality, uh, the more efficient is this procedure, and also the very same button is going to generate the parameters for normalization you will use for both the structural and the functional image at the next step, which is normalization. Uh, let's do what is recommended. We click on segment. We select volumes and it is just the structure. And uh, we highlight safe bias Where is it? safe bias corrected the bias correction is the the improvement of homogeneity of the structural image uh, due to technical reasons, one part of the image, for example, the top of the image, can be brighter than the bottom image, and there is a gradient of intensity. 
and uh, this option can correct this gradient of intensity and you get a more uniform image. Uh, very important to highlight the deformation fields. Uh, where it is, deformation fields, and you say forward. What is the deformation field? The deformation field is the image. But this image has the information necessary for mm, for normalization, for modification of the structure of uh, your image. And it is a nonlinear procedure. That means that some part of the brain probably is going to expand, the other part of the brain will shrink, and this is estimated in the modern version of SPM via DATL routine, which will be a specific topic of uh, the future class, I hope. At the moment you just need to know that this file is very, very important to proceed with normalization and you have to save it. And don't forget to save the job. This time the name of the job will be segmentation. You save it. And now, if everything is correct, you have to run. You run it, and you see in the interactive wi window something like this. Uh, and you will see that it is really long. So at this moment, it is quite logical to take a break and to drink a cup of coffee.